friends, it is I, Taru Hunter, Taru, and we're back again in another episode of Ark Survival Evolved here on Pogpower Isles. So guys, today we're going to take around our abandoned Pegasus that was a gift to us, I believe, from Maverick, and we're going to level this sweet darling pony up, and then we're going to see if we have what it takes to evolve it to a Ruthless, which is like a super high tier of Dino. But yeah, guys, I'm excited. Pony time! So guys, if you like today's episode, please remember to hit that like button. If you're new here, please subscribe. And as always, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, I want to test and see what this what this lady... Uh, is it lady or male? Yeah, you're a boy. Okay. What this dude does before I put a whole bunch of levels on him. So let's go to Goat Landing Site. I know there's usually stuff at Goat's Place for me to try killing. Just to see where we're starting damage-wise and to see where we get to. Do, 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 do. Alright. Ooh, a little lag. A little bit of lag. Alright, you have 34,000 health. This is a good test. All right, we do ten. All right, that's uh, that's actually a really good starting number. All right, so we're gonna put, ooh, uh, we're gonna put the counter on you. All right, and melee. Oh, we've already got twenty-seven levels in damage. Okay, that's cool. Twenty-seven levels of damage. We're doing about ten k. That's pretty freaking awesome. We're definitely gonna. Work on leveling this dude up. Gonna go eat some stuff. Oh yeah. Also, it's just super fun to be on, like, a death pony. Almost as much fun as being on a death otter. Which, guys, I've tried a couple of times now to tame otters on this server. And it is... It is tough. It is very, very tough. Kentro, Kentro... What are you? Guardian Carby. You're low level, though. Uh, I think these things shock me, so I'm gonna land. Ooh, the Kentro's mad. Alright, kill the Kentro. Sorry, Kentro. Sorry, Kentro. I didn't mean to make you mad. I'm sorry. Oh, you do hurting. Yep. Sorry, guys. Man, Kentros are rough. Alright, we got the Guardian Carby. Got a couple levels. And we've got 375,000 health. And we've put two points in health. Oh, well, now three. Well, two. Two points, because it starts at one. And we'll do another melee. Melee! Alright, pony. Let's go. Killing things and stuffing things. Killing things. Also, slightly terrifying that the, uh, that the pony gathers meat, but uh, I'll take it. Here's some dillos. Man, 10,400. That is a good amount of damage. Ooh, bearded raptor. That might be a bit of a problem. All right, we're going to kill this Stego. Man, that Stego had some health. All right, how much health does the bearded raptor have? Because that thing in 115. Yeah, we're not going to play with him. He's a little above our pay grade right now. <laughs> but yeah, Pony is decently fast. Both in the air and on the ground. Does a really decent amount of, of damage. Alright. Just kind of looking for some stuff to whack, guys. So yeah, I'm not going to lie, I've been a little disjointed in my arcing lately. I just haven't been super motivated to play arc, I guess. <laughs> I've been playing some Imperion, but even that, like, I've been mostly playing with TBF and doing the storyline stuff. And that game is freaking awesome. If you guys haven't checked it out, Imperion, it's a space game, but it's a survival game. And the story in it is really awesome. I'm absolutely loving the story in that game. 
it is it is a really really cool story all right I can kill you in one hit yep all right so yeah I've been uh, I've been playing that I've been waiting for the new season of Diablo to hit which I'm excited about that too I don't know if I'm gonna put Diablo on the page like to show you guys me playing it it is a lot of fun but um I don't know it's very different than all the other stuff on my channel so yeah if you guys want to see some Diablo speak now I know probably Waffle's gonna be the only person to <laughs> respond to that one. Or maybe maybe West. West and Mark have also played Diablo and Auto. We convinced TBF to play for like two minutes. <laughs> but yeah. I'm really trying to get into this pack, guys. Last time, again, I don't understand why in my brain some things I end up like diving into super deep with Ark and other things I just, I struggle to get into it. It doesn't really make any sense, but like the Gaia... Pyria Valgaro, that series I got into deep. You know, it was awesome. And what are those? And I enjoyed the heck out of it. And then this one, I'm just, I'm struggling. I don't know. Had fun building. Which is important. I do love the building. There's all kinds of tech lights around here. Oh. Guilty pleasures. Okay cool but yeah I think I need to just dedicate a weekend and just play the bejesus out of this ooh a Brad and he's knocked out he's tameable um by who by anyone this is a uh cannibalistic sheep guys I kind of want it it's super low level but I don't want him to just lay here alright also I see my nemesis the otter and I see some fish so it might actually be possible to get this otter there's a couple otters guys guys there's otters and prodigious or aberrant trilobites. Those are not tameable. Alright. We're gonna... They're just... I need an otter, guys. I need it. How much health do you have? Alright. What? The Colicanth are aggressive? Since when? What the fudge cakes? Since when are Colicanth aggressive, guys? They're gonna drown me. This is a problem. This is- they surrounded me so quickly. This is bad, guys. I might die from frickin' fish. Okay, can I get out of the water, please? Thank you. I think he's mad at the fish. Let me see if I can stab the fish. Without stabbing the otter. I need a better weapon. <sighs> Alright. Until I get a better weapon, this is not going to be possible. I'm just going to make myself insane. Oh, baby, why are you mad? Why? Really? Alright. Daughter was mad. Probably because I, I poked its friends. I feel bad about that. I do. Ooh, what? Alright, Guardian Fiomia. 164,000 health. I don't think we can kill that. Well, you got three levels, though. Alright, let's see what our damage is looking like now. Eleven thousand. I don't know if these guys are aggressive or not. I'm not gonna risk it. 
I don't want to risk losing my awesome pony. I need to get levels on the pony. Back to my focus. My focus needs focus. I love these pink trees. The pink petals on the ground. Just so cool. So many cool areas. Oh, how much health do you have? 126? Yeah, we can take you. Oh, no! It knocked me off. This is bad. Oh, God. Quick, quick, quick. Get back on the pony. Get back on the pony. Get back on the pony. No! Pony! Get back on the pony. No. Nope. Alright, fine. You take him, Sam Hain. You better do it. Oh, God. Oh, this could be very, very bad, guys. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Alright, stay out of the range of the dangerous. Ooh, Sam Hain. Come on. Get him. You're doing okay. You're doing okay. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him. Keep hitting him, buddy. You can do it. Ooh. Alright, pony just fell. Okay, where's the pony? Where's my pony? Uh, guys? Oh, there's the pony. Where did it go? It's like it's stuck. Hang on, let me see if I can whistle it. Okay, good. Now it's following me. Hopefully. Alright, well, we're ending up in the water. Hopefully Pony is following. Oh boy. Well, that just got real interesting real quick. I didn't realize that the Frozen knocked you off like that. I was, uh... Not aware of that situation. <laughs> Live and learn, right? Hi, Pony. Come here, buddy. Alright. Uh, there we go. Alright. Well, now that we are down here, let's uh, go somewhere else. Let's go uh, to TBF land. His base seems to have lots of good stuff at it. I need something somewhat more oomphy that I can see if this guy does torpor. Uh, glacial woolly... That's a really high level glacial woolly rhino. I just think I would kill it before I knocked it out. Stego. Uh, probably still gonna just kill it. Nope. Just barely. I do a, a decent amount of torpor. At least 9,000. Alright. How much? You got 32. There we go. It's a good test. Ah, I do at least 32. Alright. So I do at least 32. I kind of want this glacial woolly rhino, guys. Let's see what happens. Okay. Alright. Got it. Alright, so we need... Oh my gosh. Well, we can go back to our base and get the base veggies. Oh no, we can probably make the superior kibble. 11 superior kibble. Alright, we're gonna go back to our base and try to make up 11 superior kibble. We'll see if we can make that. Because I have the kibble station now. And I know I have dodo eggs. I just don't know if I brought them to... I don't know if I brought them up to my Pandora base or not. Maybe right down there. Hopefully nothing has spawned in and is eating it. I think it's right down here. Yes. All right. Do a taming elixir. And then 11. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Mm. 
Yes. Sweet. Glacial Woolly Rhino. Nice. All right, we're going to run back to the base real quick and actually see if we have any taming potions. Okay, guys, so it looks like we did have some XP elixirs. That gave us 31 levels there. So we're going to put them all into melee. All right. We're going to do another one and see how many levels that gets us. Okay, that one only got a six. Uh, Alright, and then we'll put those into... One, two, three. I want to give us like a, a million health. Alright, let's see. Do one more. And uh, actually, I'm going to go see if I have some health elixirs too, because that will be very important. Mod stuff. Yeah, yeah. I got some health addicts. All right. Okay. And we got four more levels out of that. All right, let's do it. All right. And then heal it up. Okay. We're going to bring that back over here. We're going to drop all the crap we can drop. All right. All right. So let's go uh let's go see what our damage is like now. Ooh, actually, I go I want to take you guys into a cool spot and I think I have beefy enough uh I have a beefy enough pony now. So, right by Goat's base, there is a really cool cave. And this cave is super, super useful because there are a bunch of the soul bugs in it. It also seems to get a few overspawns. So, I'm going to go in and I'm going to take care of business on my awesome pony. Oh, there's a Nakatina. You did, I eat you. Nom nom. Alright, I'm not seeing... Oh, I'm hearing him now. Oh, come here, buddy. All right. So this is a really, really cool cave system. And it actually leads to one of the artifacts, which I think I already took off of myself, so I think I'll be able to grab another one. Yep, so you come right down here, and there's usually quite a few of these guys, but we're gonna we're gonna knock these guys out. Maybe. Ay ay ay. There's some lag going on here, guys. And they're pretty knockouty themselves. Yep, they're both running now. Come here, broski. Got that guy. There's a regular glow tail. Probably should have gotten a poison eraser. That would have been the smart thing. This guy's running. We're just gonna eat him. All right. Got some good levels. We're gonna take the artifact. Whoop. All right. So then, is that a Gerald the Akatina? I probably should get one of these guys. Are they knockout? 308. They want one Parados Burger. You're a 308. Can I knock you out, Gerald? All right, so I'm going to run back to my base and see if I can make, or I think I have a Parados Burger. And the reason I want to get this Akatina is for cementing paste. They passively produce cementing paste when they are in one of these soul terminals, which is super useful. I think I have a burger. That would be in mod stuff. I do have a burger. 
And a poison eraser. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Very important items that I should have had on me from the beginning. Alright. Alright, do this, do that. Bye bye Torpor. Alright. And then we go back to last remote location. Alright, look around, make sure there's none of the bad guys. Alright. There you go. Alright, Gerald. Anytime now. Are you mateable? Because if you are, are you a male? No, you're a female. Yay! We got a Gerald! Alright. Cool. But yeah, as you guys can see, this is a really, really cool little spot. The spawning doesn't seem to be as bad today as it has been. There's been a lot of the overspawns with the uh, wicked thorny dragons in here, but they seem to have calmed down for today at least, which is good. But also the, uh, the soul bugs seem to not be in here either. Oh well. You guys now know where it is. 4876. Super cool. Alright, let's go see about eating some stuff. So this is the other entrance into this spot. Oh, and we got some friends here. Alright. Yay, there's a soul bug. So this is what a soul bug looks like, guys. Oh, so there's a lot going on here. I'm trying to eat you. Come back here. Come back here. Oof. Yeah, the lag is bad here. Uh, and as you can see, they take a decreased amount of damage. But, come here. Really? When you eat them, you get one of each kind of soul and some fries. Okay. That's what I was trying to show you guys. Oof, lag is a thing. I don't know if it's this dungeon or if it's... I don't know. There's a ton of metal here too, guys. Oh man, the lag is so bad, I gotta get out of here. Okay. But yes, cool little, little spot, little cavey place. And my house is on the other side of this particular, well, it's technically under and on the other side of this particular floating island situation. And up here is where I built the first time I played on Crystal Isles. It was right on here before all of this was finished. Pony, hello, pony. I like your blue feet. Alright, I have a level up. Guess I should do something about that. Level 88. We're getting there, guys. <laughs> leveling quickly on this map. That happens. When you start eating the big stuff, you start leveling real quick, like. Alright, land. We're gonna eat some turtles. Alright, so I'm doing 17,000 on vanilla creatures now. Good to know. Ooh, that is a nasty, nasty creature. Not messing. You guys see that? That blue ghosty guy? The phantom? Not tameable. 15 million health. Will probably kill me in one shot. Not friendly. Oh, the type pajaras. De pajara. All right. I haven't seen any of the new dino. Probably because we're playing modded, so it's a little funky. 
Is that a wicked? No, that's just a necklace. But you got wicked coloring, babe. Oh, yeah. More ponies. Nope. Let's go up. See what we got up here. More ponies. Lots of the ponies. Hello, my peoples. Oh, you are cool colors. I, I really do love the colors that come out, even in the regular dinos, with this mod, particular mod pack. So fun. So, so fun. Alright, what's down here? You got parasaurs running from something. Oh. <laughs> All the trouble. Triple trouble. Yeah, come here, guys. You were totally gonna go eat your buddy, weren't you? Yes, you were. <laughs> Alright. I think... I think we're back this way. Maybe not. Yeah, yeah, we are. Here we are, guys, and we're back at Samurai Haven. So, I didn't get as much leveling done as I would have liked, but I was able to tame an Akatina, which is very important for the cementing paste stuff, and a really awesome glacial woolly rhino. I'm excited about this... this guy. And a Brad! Oh, that's right, that Brad was just laying there unconscious, and I was like, hey, buddy. You wanna be my friend? So yeah, Glacial Woolly Rhino. Um. Really? Of course I put it right with the bush in its face. There we go. Glacial Woolly Rhino. We have our bread. And Gerald the Akatina. Which all of these guys, super, super cool. Very excited about that. Yeah, I love the colors. Love the colors. But yeah, guys, if you liked today's episode, please remember to hit that like button. If you're new here, please subscribe. And as always, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I will see you the next time in ARK Survival Evolved on Pug Pair Isles. Bye, guys! <laughs>